When your boyfriend or somebody like that is going, you, you know what? I actually think that you might have a career if you just showed up at like a Tempur-Pedic store and just laid down on the floor. I think you could actually be sold. I think you could be like a water mattress or something, like a sleep number bed or something like that. Like your body is so soft. It's actually, cr you're the softest bed I've ever slept on in my life. I actually was just sleeping on you. I woke up, it was the best sleep I've ever had in my life. This right here is so true. When I weighed 300 pounds, I had so many full body pictures on my profiles. Because again, I was not ashamed of how I looked. I was very proud of myself. I loved myself. But I swear, men can look at that and still think she must look different in real life. True, dude. I have been catfished four times in my entire life. And every single time, it is as jarring as the last one. I remember so vividly this girl I was talking to. She seemed so, so super nice. She was like, I'm a teacher. I, I you know, I, I love children. I love taking care of myself and so on, so on, so on. And I remember I met up with this girl, right? And I was like, hey, I'm outside this Macy's. Where are you? And she was like, oh, I see you. And I was like, oh, okay. And then I was looking around for her and then I felt a tap on my shoulder. And I was like, oh, let me just turn around. I did that. Like she was on the floor. Like she had to have been four foot five six dude and when you're five foot four five foot five um it is very very hard for me to look upon that when you weigh over 250 pounds she was a big woman and i remember when i looked at her i immediately thought this ain't gonna work dude and the fact that i when i saw her initially on the dating app i didn't know that she was a big woman it said that she was plus sized plus sized doesn't really mean anything anymore I, at the point that we're at right now, if somebody says they're plus size, I'm immediately going, ha, you're fat, you're overweight, you're obese, you probably are missing a leg because of the diabetes that have consumed your body. That's what I'm thinking at this point because I've been catfished way too many times on dating apps. People are way too ambiguous and to top it off, most women on the internet are men. The amount of times that I've talked to a woman and received a BBC picture in return for sending my penis picture has got to be at least five. And... It's, it's never good. It's never, ever good. And here's the thing. I know that my penis is luxurious, but if you're, elicit if, you're, if you're elicitating my penis picture under the assumption, the false presumption, that you're a big-breasted, you know, BBL woman, and then I see BBC, that is not something that I consented to. And th by the way, if that's ever happened to you, I had a friend, and he beat off to a woman's ass because he's an ass man himself. And he's a Muslim man, so he told me that Muslim dudes can't beat off to butt butt cheeks. So he loved butt cheeks. That's his favorite thing. And he was like, send me, send me a picture of the ass. Send me the picture of the ass. And this woman has sent him a whole bunch of pictures of ass. He was beating his shit every single day to this shit. And then one day, he said, send me a picture of the ass. And she sent him a picture of her ass. And there was nut sacks hanging down on the butt cheeks, right? Right next to the butt cheeks. And he hit her up. He was like, bro, what, what is this? Like, what happened here? And then she was like, oh, I thought you knew I'm a man. And he had not read the profile picture when he had, you know, not read the profile because she wasn't like transgender or anything. She just put herself down as a woman because sometimes what will happen is a lot of gay dudes kind of think that they'll get better reception from heterosexual men if they put themselves down as women. I don't know why they do that. Sometimes it, it, I don't know if it does work personally because whenever I see a mustached, big ass shouldered man, I'm not thinking, hmm. You know what? I've been denied 15 times today. And this guy is literally telling me that I look good. He's telling me that he thinks my dick is massive. I might as well just take a chance. You know, that? what's the worst that can happen? I'm sure the grass is, gre the grass is gre greener. Uh, nah, nah, I'm not gay. I'm not trying to ingest another man's penis, personally speaking. Now, if you like to ingest men's penises, good for you. Not for me, personally. And he was very insecure about it, by the way. He had hit me up and asked me if he was gay. And I had told him that he had beat his meat without understanding that that it was a man. So it's not even like, and I saw the pictures of the butt cheeks. I mean, they were super convincing, super voluptuous. I had never seen a woman, sorry, I'd never seen a man with butt cheeks to the capacity that this guy did. I mean, seriously speaking for a second, um, I wouldn't even put it past you if you beat off as a heterosexual man to those butt cheeks knowing that it was a man because they they were crazy. I don't know if I saw the pictures or not, but anyway. And then when you show up on a date looking the same as you do in your pictures, somehow you're catfishing them. And I never understood that, never. So another story in this terrible dating series. One time I went out to a bar, met a guy for drinks. 
walked in, I saw him, so I went up and I was like, hey, nice to meet you. And y'all, I kid you not, he turned around on his little bar stool, looked me up and down, and flat out said, I told you I don't date fat chicks. True, dude. I remember one time there was a skater girl that I had met, dude. And she was like, yeah, you know, I'm a skater girl. She was black because you know that's my type apparently. And she was like, oh, I think you're so cool. Let's meet up at this one point, right? And I remember, dude, this shit was so vivid to me, dude. Like it was just, just like it was yesterday. I remember I was waiting by like a staircase and I knew I saw her. Like the, she was coming up the stairs and I saw her with a skateboard. She was looking musty. She looked like she hadn't took a shower in like four days okay she was sweaty she was it was it was like i don't know 60 degrees out i don't know why she was sweating but she had her skateboard with her and i was just kind of thinking like this is incredibly impractical like what are we gonna do like we're we gonna have a walk in the park and you're just holding your fucking skateboard the whole time i thought it was hot at the moment but she had armpit hair too and i thought that was also kind of concerning also because she didn't tell me like on the dating app it didn't say anything about armpit hair so i was kind of a little bit concerned about that i just kind of automatically assumed that women don't have hair in general with the exception of their their face and hair on their head and i get it latina girls also have a little bit of mustache right i'm not offended by that um this nothing wrong with a little bit of peach fuzz i understand right i'm not i mean i'm not trying to kiss men but you know what i'm talking about but i remember i met this girl and i saw her and i immediately was like ah oh, damn I, like i knew it dude i knew it i mean she wasn't fat but i knew as soon as i saw her that was her and i was just kind of hoping that it wasn't you know but then she hit me up she was like i'm here and i was like fuck 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 because i knew i had to go up to her and be like hey hey and it was like so bad because the moment i met her she touched me like she touched my shoulder she's like hey hi how are you and i was like oh oh <laughs> damn i should have just left you know i should have just fucking just walked away but i was like ah oh, no i can't let me just see how it fucking works maybe she's nice it didn't work out it didn't work out dude this girl was on some different shit she couldn't stop talking about her asian boyfriend that was piping her down i should have immediately took it as a red flag when she was saying her asian boyfriend had bbc which is crazy by the way don't get me wrong i know asian dudes have big penises i've seen it Sir, you saw my profile. Dude, that just kind of goes to show you, if you're getting these responses and you're going, you saw my profile, so you know that I'm fat. Dude, if you're telling me this has happened to you multiple times, your profile is a lying-er, okay? There's no other way to say it than that. You are putting on a facade. You saw so many full body pictures of me. What did you expect me to look like? So I told him, I don't date douchebags. You know, oh man, but he already said, he already did the, I'm not with it. And then you said, well, you can't fire me. I quit. That's, that's crazy, dude. Cringe. Cringe. I was watching Love is Blind. Don't hate on me for this. I was watching Love is Blind, and there was this girl on Love is Blind, and she was going like, oh, you know, uh, who who do, who do people say that you look like when it comes to being a celebrity? Obviously, she's building herself up because nobody asked that initial question. By the way, Love is Blind, the whole premise is you can't see that person, so they're, like, they're behind some kind of wall and you have to talk to people. You have to get to know them personally before you see them, and then you fall in love with them that way. Whatever. It never works, but... This girl was like, who do you look like? And the guy said some bullshit. I don't know. Like fucking, oh, you know, they say I look like Christian Bale. I don't know. And then she was like, he was like, oh, of course you're going to have to reciprocate. This is the whole point. Like she knew this. She went into this strategically thinking that this guy was going to ask her this, right? Setting herself up for this. And then the guy's going, oh, um, who, who do they say you look like? And then she goes, oh, you know, who's that one girl? Who's that one girl that played in um, Transformers from 2008? And he's like, Megan Fox and I'm just thinking she goes oh yeah her I'm like this fucking bitch bro this fucking bitch real deal said who is that one girl you knew the girl you knew the girl dude don't fucking lie how many times have you done this and I remember when she said Megan Fox I looked at this woman I was like psych Megan Fox more like Megan Hippo dude ain't no way this girl real deal told this guy that she looked like Megan Fox and you know what this guy picked her right this shit had me on my back because this guy was like Probably thinking like, oh my God, this woman is mega. This woman looks like Megan Fox. She has a great personality, dude. She's probably banging. I can't wait to meet this girl. And as soon as he met her, I swear to God, the doors open and he went like this. Ooh, like he saw her and he was like, that bitch is flat. She had nothing. Okay. It was, she had a long back and don't get me wrong. Fine. No problem at all. If you got a long back, you don't got the proportions. You know, you don't have the curvatures, whatever. That's fine. Her face didn't look like Megan Fox. I don't know what the fuck she was talking about. And I knew it from that moment. That dude was going to immediately regret his decision, dude. And to be honest, I, I don't, I don't, 
I, I don't feel bad for her, dude. The fact that you set this guy up for failure, talk about some, you know, I look like Megan Fox. I'm, <laughs> I'm big breasted. I got, you know, I suck dick, whatever. And he was like, oh man, this is my dream come true. And he met that woman. He was like, nah, that is disgusting. And I don't blame him, dude, because that woman did not look like Megan Fox. Liar, 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 liar. False advertisement. And left. But I swear, men have no sense of reality. What do you mean men? First of all, it's not a men problem. If you put on a false picture on your profile and then a dude showed up was like, oh my God, you don't look like anything that you said you look like. That's not that's not a men problem. Stop blaming it on men, okay? I'm a, I'm a, I'm a genre of the men community and I, can, I, I would very much appreciate not throwing me under the bus because I exist also in that community. Don't get me wrong. Men are disgusting. I mean, I've met many men that have sex with random things, and I can assure you, but then again, I've seen women also do that too, I remember one time I met a girl, she told me she put a, a corn cob in her vagina, I never do that shit, but I have put my dick in conditioner. Put a finger down if you're out with your girlfriends having a fun- Gotta turn her up a little bit, let's do the, what? Put a, put a finger down, put a finger down, here we go. Have no sense of reality. Put a finger down if you're out with your girlfriends having a fun drunken night and you run into an ex that you dated like 10 years ago and you're really drunk and you end up going home with him and sleeping with him even though you didn't really want to sleep with him and then you wake up in the morning and you want to be taken home because you don't have your car but he wants to sleep in and he's like let me sleep a little bit i'm tired and the next thing you know you're laying in bed naked and boom 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 comes in the door two women and you're like what is going on and they're like who the f are you and i'm like who are you and the one girl's like i'm his girlfriend of two years and you're like oh Oh my god i didn't even know you had a girlfriend because your facebook page doesn't even have any photos up and it doesn't even say that you're in a relationship like literally it looks like you're single and we've been friends for 10 years and i never knew that you had a girlfriend let alone for two years and then they're like freaking out like you need to get out of the house and i'm like i don't know what to do i don't even know where my clothes are at i don't he needs to take me home and she's like that's my car he's not taking you home anywhere and i'm just like oh my god is this real life right now your eyebrows ain't it i'm gonna keep it a solid buck with you dude i don't Nah, it ain't it, dude. And for some reason, it looks like all the portions of her face are, like, inside. You know, like, I don't know, man. Whatever, dude. Uh, she has a lot of outward area on the outside on, on her face, right? A lot of outside area. I don't know. It doesn't matter. But this is too elaborate of a story. Dude, if this guy didn't have... First of all, I don't put... I don't put relationship statuses. I don't even know anybody that even uses Facebook anymore. Uh, I did use Facebook when I was like 12 because I thought it was cool and that was cool at the time, but it's not cool anymore. Nobody uses Facebook anymore. FYI, if you use Facebook, you're probably not cool, but I still think you're cool because you're here right now and I appreciate your entire existence and I think your elbows are well lubricated today, by the way. Too much of an elaborate story, dude. Just fucking leave. You don't have a, you don't have your card on file on the Uber app, dude. Just call an Uber and get the fuck out of there. If you can't call up an Uber, call up like a Haitian taxi driver. Be like, hey, dude. It's me. Uh, 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 you, where are you from? Tell me where your location is and I will pick you up. I've never in my entire life, and I live in a big city, I've been picked up by plenty of taxi drivers. Never in my entire life has a taxi driver ever been any other um, ethnicity besides Haitian. And I can perfectly understand their language by now because the amount of taxis that I've taken is always the same. Uh, uh, they sound like they, I don't know, like they've been screaming all day. And it's, it's it, they sound exhausted consistently, but... No, I did actually have one guy that was white, but that was an anomaly. She put five fingers that down. Happened. Fat girls are told to date older men, and we need to talk about it because it's weird. When you grow up... Most girls... I'm going to keep it a buck with you. Most girls in general usually date older dudes, and there's like... I think there's something like a two to three age gap differences in most relationships. Now, I know some guys that are dating women and there's like a 10 year age gap, which is fine. But usually once you start approaching, you know, nine, 10, 11 years, then the gap, like sometimes it could work. I feel like it could work, but you're going to run into a lot of problems with communication because you can't really relate to a lot of stuff. And it just depends on where you are in life. So things like that. I'm sure it could be fine given the circumstance, but I know some people that are dating people that are like 20 years older than them and that works. So, I mean, I'm not here to shit on people that have age gap relationships. Fine. Um, but usually people are dating around their age bracket. So like if you're 25, you're usually going to date somebody that's 25 or a little bit older or a little bit younger. It's usually like that. Women tend to date guys that are a little bit older because guys tend to take a little bit longer to mature, which makes sense because men are afforded a whole bunch of whole bunch of uh they're they're afforded a whole bunch of extra rope in society compared to women whereas for women have to have their shit together like 
instantly, dude. And so you have that. And then also you have the maternal side too. Cause like women are literally on a time clock. So most women have to have their shit together before a certain point, especially if they all want to have kids. Don't get me wrong. If you don't want to have kids, completely fine. But that's usually the reason guys, I don't know, like guys usually slack off in their whole twenties. And like, by the time they're 30, they're like 25 mentally speaking. So I understand why a lot of women date older men because usually women don't want to deal with men that don't have their shit together and don't want to have to deal with the fact that a guy, you come into a guy's house and he has like one mattress and it's on the floor and he's got like three forks and one bowl and he only orders Uber Eats and he hasn't done his laundry in five weeks because, you know, uh, if it smells fine, it's probably okay to wear. And you know what? I get it. I do understand, dude. And that's why I always tell guys to level up in the sense of like, go work out, actually understand how to take care of yourself, wash yourself. You know what I'm saying? Um, some guys think it's gay to even wash their butthole. So I always tell dudes like the technique is get a washcloth, right? And then slather that thing up, lather that thing up with some soap and then just have it like, you know, have the, have the washcloth in between your hands, kind of like your hand is the meat in a taco. And the, the, the washcloth itself is the, 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 you know what I'm talking about? The shell. And then just take your hand and just you know, up, you know, that's what you got to do. That's good. You're good. And then just sit back in the shower, spread cheeks. Don't fucking slide. I'm not telling dudes to fucking, you know what I'm saying? I'm not telling dudes to put their fingers in. That's come on. But you should be able to wash your butthole knowing that it's going to be clean. Don't be afraid of your butthole. I don't know why so many dudes think that like, what do you think is going to happen, dude? Like you think you're going to touch your butthole and it's going to start screaming? No, it's not dude. Clean your fucking ass. I don't know how many dudes I know don't wash their ass. It's crazy. It's actually insane. Um, tip for the day. If you're a man, because most women don't have this issue. Most women are totally okay with washing their buttholes. But if you're a man, you should wash your butthole optimally too. make sure that it's fucking clean, dude. I don't know what to tell you. Okay. Soap, soap, soap. (laughs) And then rinse too, dude. Rinse. Let the water touch that shit. It's okay. It's not gay. The water is not gay. But of course, there's going to be somebody out there because I know I'm already thinking about it. Oh, but, you know, this water's been around for millions of years. There had to have been at some point some type of animal or some human that had touched this water with his dick at some point. Therefore, the water that cascades off my butthole is gay by proxy. Sure, you're gay. You're gay for washing your butthole. Now try to do it harder. And you're bigger than the other people. If you're a girl and you, like, develop early as part of that or you just get perceived as more mature. Like I had boobs from the time I was like 10. True, I remember when I was like, man, dude, I remember when I was like 10 years old or 11 years old, there was this girl that was younger than me and she was full figured. And I remember I was like, I'm still playing with Legos. You know what I'm talking about? How did this even happen? And I feel like some people just have these magical genes to develop really, really early. Like I knew this Mexican dude and this dude had a full, he was like six foot two and he had a full beard in eighth grade he was like six foot two i couldn't believe it and i used to look at this dude like what the fuck is this dude like i don't even you know what i'm saying dude i was like five foot i don't even know how tall i was dude but i was still playing with legos dude i didn't even know what girls were i had no idea what the concept of a vagina was and this dude was like he women look being in school with this dude was eye-opening i shit you not i remember being in sixth grade with this dude okay he was taller than everybody he was lanky at this time he was like easily six foot two because he hit puberty really fucking early he didn't have the beard yet but i remember sitting with this guy when i was in sixth grade and he was my only friend right because i was white and he was kind of not really white he was like spanish and i guess he took me under his wing because he felt bad for me because i was in a school predominantly full of black kids so i was getting bullied every single day for being white I know it sounds I know it sounds crazy, like, oh, Dave, you're victimizing yourself of being white. No, I'm not. I'm just telling you the truth. But anyway, so I was sitting with this dude at the lunch table, and I shit you not, girls were walking up to this dude, giving them papers of numbers. Like, there was, like, a line of five or six girls that would come up and just give this dude numbers in sixth grade. And I was just looking at that shit, and I was like, damn, bro, you're really getting a lot of numbers. He was like, yeah, you want one or two? And I was like, what? What? Like, can you imagine giving your number to a guy, and then another guy calls you up like, hey... Hey, I'm like that other guy that was right next to that guy that you you gave your number to. He felt bad for me, so he gave me the phone number. Anyway, I noticed my, it's not going to work, obviously, because you didn't want me. You wanted him. So it was like that. I don't know. It was real fucking sad. But some people do develop very, very early. I was not privileged enough, though. I don't even. I think it took me a long... I didn't even have armpit hair until I was like 16. Or you just get perceived as more mature. Like, I had boobs from the time I was like 10. And so- I really... I really don't think many people understand because I didn't understand this for a really long time that girls real deal do get it sexually harassed out in public like all the time I didn't know this right but I remember one time I met this really really pretty girl right and I feel like the reason why I never really noticed it is because 
most girls, even though they're being sexually harassed, the to the extent that this other girl was being sexually harassed was insane. Like, I couldn't even believe it. Like, if you were getting sexually harassed by one guy a day, it was like 10 for her. And I remember her being on the phone with me one day and a guy came up to her. He was like, damn, you a walking queen. You a walking queen. You a walking goddess. Let me get your number. And she was like, oh, sorry, I have a boyfriend. And he's like, yeah, but he ain't here right now. He ain't here right now. So where he is at right now, you can get my number. I can take you out and shit. And then, bro, that same day, after she curved him, she was at the grocery store and another guy who was like 40, keep in mind, she was like, I think 20 at the time. I just walked up there was like, yeah, damn, girl, you getting off school? First of all, bro, what the fuck you mean you getting off school? What the fuck are you talking about? Why would you even say that? But it was crazy. Damn, girl, you getting off school? How old is you? Um, I'm 20. And then, he, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. My kid is, my, my daughter's 20. <laughs> okay? The fuck? Bro, I didn't know. I didn't know how bad it was for so many women. Dude just coming up to them. I mean, I've never been, like, personally speaking, I don't really approach people in general. I think I probably, I mean, I've, I've approached a fair bit of women, but I'm never cringy like that. Um, I don't know, man. It's, cr it's crazy. I had not known how bad it was for women, though. So, I was constantly being told how mature I was. I was told by multiple adults that girls mature faster than boys. Mentally speaking, usually. But don't get me wrong. There are plenty of there are plenty of women um, that are whatever age they are, and they're like ten years behind that. One hundred percent. There are plenty of women, but usually, generally speaking, women age mentally faster than men because, like I said earlier, they usually have to. They have to have their shit together faster than men usually because men are afforded way more time. Boys at school wouldn't like me because obviously, but. Older boys, then when they get older, they grow some sense. And you know, I think people wanted to be like, you're not gonna date in high school because they won't go for you. But when you're older, you're gonna hit your peak. Like that's what they were trying to say. That's what you, that's what happened to me, dude. When I was in high school, I got nothing. I was barren. I was like, if, <laughs> if I opened my legs, it was like, <laughs> nothing, nothing. I was beaten off four or five times a day, dude. It was crazy. But once I hit my twenties, I was going on the dating apps. I was going on dates like once a week, not even joking with you. I thought it was ugly for like a really long time, but then I started like growing into myself. I filled out a little bit more and it really is true. Like if you don't get anything in high school, don't be, it's actually probably better if you don't do that because you're at your most vulnerable time during that time period and you're the most vulnerable and you don't want something to like really fuck you up at that age that's gonna like carry you through for the rest of your life. So it's probably better to not even do anything in your high school teen years. But once you get into your adult years, when your brain starts developing a little bit more and you start understanding what you who you are or what you are and what you want in, in a person, um, it's probably way better. It's probably way, 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 way better. Because I used to really, really, really look back at those times and I used to think, why didn't I, any, no girls ever wanted to date me. I felt sorry for myself. But now I look back at it and I'm like, thank God I didn't date during high school because I wasn't ready. Thank God I didn't have sex until I think I lost my virginity at 21, right? And do, it's okay. First of all, don't be shamed. Don't be shamed because you lost your virginity at an older age, it's really not that big of a deal. If I'm going to keep it honest, it's really nothing at all to lose your virginity at like 21 or 22. Don't worry. You're good, okay? Vagina or penis is overrated. But it comes off as you should date older men because they will want you. And it's like this idea that gets sold to you like older men are wiser and better and more mature and they can handle a whole lot of women. Like that's kind of the vibe. I don't know about handle a whole lot of women. Usually they tell, usually people say date an older man because they got their shit together. And women usually don't want to date dudes at their lowest point, which is fine. That's okay. That's okay. Like nobody wants to date average, right? I, I'm sick of people saying this. Nobody wants to date average, but it's okay to date average. But uh, anyway, that's usually which the reason. Which I hate so much because there is nothing about a fat woman that needs to be handled any more than an non-fat woman i also think that it's such a disservice to women because i oh man i remember i was watching this dating podcast or something like that and this woman was like can you handle me can you handle me and i'm just thinking it's such a bad way of describing yourself to say can you handle me first of all if i'm like working all day and i have to do a lot of chores and i have to like run errands all fucking day and i'm coming home and it's like you know i had to deal with all this chaos and i had to come home to handle you that's fucking terrible no i don't want to handle you absolutely not can't you just be like, be pleasant i don't fucking know like i get it every once in a while you're gonna have like an argument with me because i don't know your shoes didn't fit properly or your makeup was like i don't know it fucking it bled off your face because you were crying or something like that i get it but 
no, I don't want to handle you. Stop using these choices of words, okay? No, I don't want to handle you. So, um, and also, I think she's probably right, but also probably wrong, because if you're a bigger person, in general, not even woman, um, yeah, dude, you're going to be a lot more to deal with. In, 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 this, in the spectrum of, like, health-wise, um, you know, we're not going to be able to do as much, maybe. I don't know. It's going to be taxed way more. Except for the fact that there is social stigma that comes from dating us. Yeah, but there's also the fact that you guys are literally unhealthy. Like, if you're fat in general, then you're unhealthy. If you're obese, which, yeah, you're going to be monstrously healthy. So, why the fuck? I always say this, dude. These people always work under this assumption of, like, because I'm fat, I'm still a good person. I'm not doubting that you're not a good person. But, you know, the funny thing is, like, everybody thinks they're a good person. Nobody's walking through the day going, I'm a fucking asshole. I'm a, I'm a bitch. I'm a cunt. Nobody's doing that shit. Most people are going through the day going, I'm probably a good person. Most people will have this idea in the back of their head of, like, I'm pretty okay. Like, I'm a good person, right? So... When I hear people say that, I think, I don't care. Like, that literally means nothing to me. Everybody's a good person, fundamentally. So, if you are approaching this with, you should date me because I'm a good person, forget about the fact that I'm obese, I don't give a fuck because there are plenty of other people that are not obese that are also good people, if that makes any sense. But that's another video. Anyway, I just find it really interesting, the emphasis on, like, maturity that is placed on fat girls when they are like children like people really wanted me to know I was smart and I was mature and it was almost like this consolation prize for not being attractive but when you're constantly told you're mature and when you're also by the way like cast as adults in the school play like and you're just sort of always being told you're not really a young girl because you're not attractive so you're not having the like hallmark experiences of young girlhood that attractive girls do you start being like, well, I should date someone on my level. Someone old. And that's like just logic. <laughs> I see what she's saying, but I can't really relate to this because when I was like 16, I felt like I, I, I swear, if you guys looked at a picture of me when I was 16 to 18 years old, you would have probably thought I was like 12 or something like that. I feel like it just took me a very long time to mature. So I can't really relate to this. I feel like most people think that I looked like I was 10 years younger than I actually was for like the majority of my life. And until I grew out a mustache, I feel like till then people just still thought I was like really, really young. So... I can't really relate to this. It's completely opposite. But if you have some context to contribute in the comment section, I would very much appreciate that. I do read all the comments. So if you do have some context here, I would appreciate it. Especially when you have a little undeveloped child brain. I have had so many podcast guests talk about how they had like these weird and appropriate relationships with older guys when they were in like high school or even middle school. And a lot of the times it's because of this message. And it's maybe also because those older guys can sense a vulnerable young person who doesn't realize the situation she's getting herself into. And maybe, this is really fucked up, but sometimes those older guys are like, oh, she's not going to be considered attractive in her school, so I'm going to be the savior. Like, she's going to do anything for me because nobody else will want her. Pe That's really tragic if I'm going to keep it a buck with you, dude. Um, I don't know... <laughs> I know I've been in situations like this before on that particular end. I, oh man, I remember when I was like 13, there was like a 44-year-old woman that was talking to me. I'm not going to go into the details of that. I didn't know she was 44 at the time. She had told me she was like my age. But overall, I think most people date around their age brackets. Like once you turn 18 and you start getting into the realm of dating, most people are dating people of their own stature. Like if you're in school and you're in college, you're probably going to date somebody that's also in that same school, that's also in that same college, that are probably doing the same major as you. You're in the workplace, you're probably going to date somebody in the workplace. If you're at the gym, you probably date somebody at the gym. And usually like most people line up together, you know, averagely it's very weird for people to date somebody like 10 years or making way more money it's not usually average i know there's like a very drastic amount of people out there not a lot though i'm gonna keep it a buck i think it's just a very vocal minority of people that sit there and say that you know guys that are high value or something like that guys that are making over 100k a year maybe even more are like i don't know dating starbucks baristas and shit like that because they don't give a fuck about women that are emotionally or mentally immature because like ultimately a woman doesn't really need to have any of those qualities. All she really needs to do is just look good and be submissive, which is to me always come off as like a crazy ass statement to say, I don't even know what you guys are even doing in a conversation. If you think that like, if you're dating a woman specifically just for her looks and there's like nothing else behind it, I'm great that if that's what you want to do, like if that's what you want to do and you guys are happy, fine. But like, does that never bother you? Like, do you not have conversations with your significant other? Do you guys not like ever conversate? Do you not like share opinions? Do you not like ever... You know what I'm talking about? Like, I really feel like that would just be boring for me to sit there and, like, don't get me wrong. 
If that's what you want to do, that's fine. I'm not shitting on you. But I'm also always thinking like, what the fuck are you guys doing? Um, you guys must be having zero conversations, zero interactions. Like if this woman's just like a board and you guys are just like looking at each other and you like her because she's pretty. I don't know, man. Like it's just it's just really weird to me sometimes when I hear people say that stuff. And then also a lot of times these guys would be like 10, 15 years older than these girls, which is fine, I guess, if the girl like it's OK. I'm not saying it's bad in the sense of like you can do it. But I always think there's like. In, there's probably a lot of red flags in these relationships. And don't get me wrong. There are, for some reason, people think that red flags mean that you should just break up with that person. No, that's not how that works. Like if somebody is 10 years older than you, that's a red flag. That doesn't mean you break up with them. That just means it's something to acknowledge. Something that you have to go into the relationship with understanding. You understand? Like if somebody has kids, that's a red flag. But that doesn't mean you break up with them. That just means you go in understanding this right you understand like it could be a red flag to the degree that you break up but for most people it's just something to be aware of if that makes any sense i don't know why somebody it's like modern lingo nowadays is just so weird like i heard somebody the other day go oh yeah um i've dated like 40 people this year and i was like what the fuck do you mean you dated 40 fucking people and then i asked them i was like what do you mean dated 40 people like how did you do that and they're like oh i just met these guys on dating apps and we just went on one or two dates and i stopped talking to them and i met this guy and, he met and i thought oh you don't actually mean dating like you you just mean like you you just met somebody and then you you guys just had a date you know like so like the modern lingo for how we do stuff nowadays is just for me doesn't make sense a lot of times and i struggle to keep up with like the modern terminologies and how people think because we live in a social media age so terminology that we use now like for instance like i don't know what we use now like shit slap i don't know dude whatever the modern terminologies that we use now are going to be old in two weeks because social media is trendy and different shit gets shuffled out all the time so like if you say something like very very like, you know, you say something from two weeks ago, somebody's gonna look at you like, dude, that's old. What are you talking about? It's two weeks fucking ago. Anyway. People think like that about fat women all the time. It feels messed up to say, but it does unfortunately happen. And I feel like all of this leads to this messaging that it's like, you just have to date older. And that is really, really, really dangerous. Fat kids are still kids. True. A little girl is still a little girl. True. Even if she has boobs, even if she's taller than everybody else in the class, even if she's fatter, even if she, you know, has this like womanly figure that they don't, right? It doesn't change your age and it doesn't change your maturity level either. I don't think this has anything really to do with being fat. I don't know if this is like strictly something that only fat girls have to deal with, dude. I saw this happen to majority, dude, ever since, oh, like, for all of time, for all of time, women have always had, you know, penis be presented to them as, like, an option since the time they were, like, fucking 12, right? I know this for a fact, dude, especially being on the internet now, right? Like, I know that dudes are creeps and things like that, right? So, I understand this from the basic idea that dudes are freaks or dudes are really, really um, disgusting. And don't get me wrong, I'm not sitting here, I'm not going to play devil's advocate, but it does happen to men as well. Maybe not to the same degree because usually the ones that are doing it the most are men. So, I do understand it and it is very creepy. But I don't know why this is like, I mean, maybe mo mo more so like because Tracy is like 100% always on the fat train. So, she has to incorporate this in some way. But I feel like this is just a girl problem in general. If you have an experience like this, please drop it in the comments. True. We really need to talk Leave it down about below. more. Fat girls are told to. Let, let me know down below because I like I would love to understand this content, this context too. Because like I'm a dude, I don't really understand this shit. Um, all the women that I've ever interacted with, most of them probably didn't even want to be with me. Maybe the exception of like three or four of them. So. The older men, and we need to talk about it because it's weird. When I tell you I could not stitch fast enough, I've been fat my whole life. Okay, this Terrible. is the smallest I've been. <sighs> wig ain't it the wig ain't it dude put more work into it watch a james charles video or something since i was like 13 14 i will scream this till the day i fucking die y'all's rejection of fat girls is the acceptance of grooming and that is a hill i will get massacred on i was told by every single last person around me including and especially my mother that nobody would want me because i was fat that's a terrible thing to say is like the thing is like when you're a parent when you tell a child something like something as meta as nobody will nobody will like you because you're fat well like 
what the fuck, mom? Like, why am I fat then? Like, the fuck are you telling me this? Like, to tell somebody, you understand what I'm saying? Like, it's so difficult for a child to even understand what's even going on in their day-to-day life. And the fact that you're trying to give them these meta ideas and meta thoughts, these end game ideas of like, being fat, therefore nobody will want you, is like, so far out of the realm of a child's ability to comprehend. Like, uh, children can't even make their own beds. I mean, me as an adult, I can't even make my own bed. So you like, you understand what I'm saying? So when you say something like that, why are you saying that to a child? They're never going to understand it. They're never going to grasp onto it. And it's probably going to destroy them for the rest of their lives. If your child is fat, it's not their fault they're fat. It's your failing as a parent. It's not them. It's you. And of course, my peers did not publicly want me. But you know who did? Oh, you yeah, know who did? Let me calm down. My trauma is coming out. Y'all's daddies. Y'all's uncles. Y'all's brothers. And I was told by my mother, and the world also reflected this back to me, that I would have to settle because I was fat. A lot of times, I feel like when you come up with these ideas of settling, I mean, I'm not talking about in the realm of grooming, obviously. I'm not saying that. But... Usually, if you are a bigger person and you're expecting to be, I don't know what your standards are naturally, but if you're a bigger person, you have to at least understand that you are not going to be the top of the heap because of your weight. The weight is going to 100% impede your ability to acquire a mate. And this goes for men and women. Across the board, most people do not want to date somebody that is chronically unhealthy or somebody that does not care about themselves to such a, such a basic degree of being fat. Being fat in general should never be incentivized. So naturally speaking, most people are not going to be attracted to that. Which meant that nobody wanted me. So I started off with, you know, liking the attention a little here and there. And then the internet came. Yeah, this is why I think that maybe the internet is probably, it's a it's a give or take. Like, I really feel like for most people, they probably shouldn't be on the internet. Especially below the age of 18. Because, especially for, for, for women below the age of 18. Because social media is fundamentally designed for people that are the most social. And usually women are the ones that are the most social. Hence why you see them so often on these, like, big social media platforms, right? Like, women dominate Instagram, women dominate um, Snapchat and all these other places. You know, the reason for that is because like dudes don't know how to do it. Like guys don't know how to communicate. Most dudes are like quiet. I think women speak double the amount of words that men do in a fucking day. So it's an anomaly if a guy's like killing it on social media because like most of the time guys have no idea what they're doing. So when you're a young person and you post a picture of yourself and then you realize that you're getting more likes or you're getting more clicks or whatever the fuck because you're showing more skin, then that's going to lead to more skin. That's going to lead to more skin. That's going to lead to more skin. And then suddenly you just fucked up for the rest of your life because you were, you know, the internet came about and you didn't know how to handle it because you were a young person. That's really what it comes down to. And it sucks because the internet is a beautiful place. It just takes a very, very mature person to really understand the complexities of it. And I feel like most definitely, I was thrown in the internet when it was like a very, very wild, wild west days. Like there wasn't any type of like report buttons or anything like that, man. I remember literally being in Call of Duty lobbies and having somebody tell me that my mom was sucking them off and they were like 10 years old and I was like 15 or something like that. It was a, com- it was a common thing. Common thing. And part of me really enjoys that part of myself, knowing that I was able to live through that aspect. It's like, I don't know, going through my Vietnam, basically, right? And um, it's a good thing and a bad thing. But simultaneously, I think, like I said, it takes a very, very mature person. And usually you're not going to be very, very mature to understand the complexities of the internet until like probably in your 20s or even later for most people. So um, just FYI. Uh, even if you're like an older person, it may, you may not be able to fully understand it because you came into the time frame where you can't teach an old dog new tricks or like maybe it's just very hard for you to understand the w- way the internet is because a lot of old people do get scammed on the internet because they don't know that the internet is full of terrible, disgusting people along with people that are amazing like you, like you, amazing, beautiful person. So that's why I often say like don't post your kids on social media. Don't post your fucking – unless your kids are adults, that's fine. Uh, I, I'm fundamentally against posting kids on the internet. I don't like it. Don't like it. Don't like it. Don't like it. They can't consent. So, I mean, you can consent for them, but then again, I don't think it's like – I don't like it personally. <laughs> See, when you're not getting attention from your parents True. or your peers, you know who will give you attention? I don't have to say the word for you. You know what it is. And that just became a cycle. It started online, and then as I got older, it just continued. Oh, and when you're a fat girl and a fat woman, you don't get to say that someone assaulted you. You know why? You should be happy that someone gave you attention in the first fucking place. First of all, who's telling you that? That's a crazy-ass fucking statement nobody should be saying that that's a crazy ass statement dude no they used to say the same shit when dudes used to slap your ass or (laughs) 
or um, a dude would just casually sexually assault you or like, I don't know, dude, not, not, mm, I wouldn't say casually, maybe just like assault you, like, oh, boys will be boys. Nah, bro, don't fucking touch me. Don't fucking touch me, dude. Why are you touching me? I used to hate that shit in school, but people just kind of, like, I remember literally being in elementary school and being in the urinal wall, because, like, you know, during el elementary school, you had to all go at the same time. So everybody lined up and used the bathroom at the same time. And here's the thing, right? When I was a kid, everybody did the same thing. You pulled your pants down completely, down to the fucking floor because you had no idea how it worked. I don't know. It was like seven or eight, maybe even 10. I don't know. But I remember there's this one kid named Ruel and he was at the very end. Like he strategically put himself at the end. So he, w when he walked by, he was the same age as us, obviously. So he was a children as well. And he would run by and he would just slap ass. And sometimes he would even grab ass all the way through. And I remember at the time I was like, I got to fight this dude because obviously this is uncalled for behavior, but everybody was laughing about it because it was, I guess, just something that he casually did. And I'm just thinking, oh, okay, I guess this is okay because everybody else is okay with it. I don't want to seem like the weird one. So I understand peer pressure. I understand all that shit. So I can kind of see where she's coming from on this point. But I think that... It, First of all, if you're an adult, this is a crazy ass. If somebody said that to you as an adult, checkmate them real fucking quick. Y'all perpetuate the bullshit that you fight against each and every single day. She needs to be specific on the y'all. First of all, I don't think this is even something that I would never, ever, ever say some shit like this, ever. Especially, I mean, I don't even, this has nothing to do with fat women, so she needs to be very specific on this y'all. And this is why I will never bring a child into this world. It's a very bad, that is a fucking terrible way of trying to, oh my god, that is a, t first of all, the world is terrible, right? I remember I was watching a video the other day of this girl um, some fat activist, and she said something so incredibly stupid. She was like, I don't know why women have to walk around New York City and not have headphones in or have their phone and not be paying attention. To it. Like, I should have, I should be afforded the right to do that, and I shouldn't have to worry about my surroundings or whatever the fuck. And I was just thinking, you're fucking dumb. This has absolutely nothing to do with being a woman. You, in general, okay, being in a society is a privilege, right? Um, most people are sound individuals mentally speaking they're not going to fuck you or like do something crazy to you right most people but on the off chance there is somebody that does that which there are many of those people are about and you can't really judge somebody's mental mental illness just based off looking at them sometimes you can but sometimes you can't so you should always i always say this never have your headphones in if you do maybe just have one in always be aware of your surroundings 100 percent Always be aware of your surroundings. Shit is always going to get fucked up. So that's why if you ever see me out in public, I don't have my headphones in. I am not on my phone. I am consistently looking around always because the amount of times I've almost been hit by a car, the amount of times that a crazy person has approached me, it's been copious. So given that information, I don't care if you're a man or a woman, you need to be aware of your surroundings, especially if you're a woman, especially because you're like, your chances of being victimized are increased because you're a woman. So I don't know why so many people think this is like, you, I get it. You live in a society and you think that society is perfect. It's not. You're going to have to focus on this shit, okay? And then also to this woman saying that she's not going to bring a child into the world because I guess men are sexual deviants or something like that. I understand where you're coming from, but this is like the same argument that people give where they go, oh, I don't want to bring a child into the world because fossil fuels or I don't want to give up. I don't want to bring a child into the world because uh, I don't make enough money or like I don't think people are good people. Men are bad or whatever the fuck. It's like such bullshit. Ex just, man. It's fine if you don't want to bring children into the world. That's fine. You don't have to have kids. But, like, this excuse is really, really bad. Like, there are terrible things happening into the world. And you having this excuse for that reason. I don't know, man. It just comes off really, really cringy. I don't like it. I don't like it, dude. Yeah, go ahead. Fine. Have no children. I don't care. But this reason is bad. It's a very, very bad reason. Every single day. And this is why I will never bring a child into this world. Because as soon as a little girl eats too much, it's a free for all for all of the creeps. And I don't, I just, I really don't understand why she's saying big girls, like fat girls, dude. It's just like, this is a thing that's been happening for all of time. And obviously, I'm not condoning it. I'm not saying it's a good thing, but I'm just saying it's something to be aware of. Like, you have to at least acknowledge the reality of the situations that you're in. You can't just always be under this imagination of, like, I really hope the world isn't like. Like that too bad it is what it is that's just the way the world is understand how the game is played so you can accurately play the game okay understand good move on yeah this isn't anything to do personally speaking i don't know if it's more emphasized in the fat community i don't know i'm not a woman i don't have a vagina i don't have i don't know menstrual cramps and things such and so forth i don't have an egg sac so i can't really talk this is me looking at it from the outside in i pretty much understand that women are automatically going to be sexualized from the age of like 12 and up i know this right um it's obviously not good it's terrible but it's always been happening so if you're 
if your argument is I am not going to bring a child into this world because on the 50-50 chance of me having a girl, that girl could or could not be sexualized at a young age. That is dumb. That is dumb, okay? It's a gamble on top of a gamble on top of a gamble on top of a gamble. I understand what they're saying. I do. But it's just like the... It's just like, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe somebody can help me down below. But I just, like, it's such a terrible reason, dude. What if you have a boy? Is this all out the fucking window? <sighs> all right, whatever, man. In the better files. Yeah, that's what y'all's fat phobia does. No, it's, it's like, dude, you're not... Because most people are technically fat phobic in the sense of like, I don't want to be fat. I think being fat is bad for you. I think that it has negative health complications. You can't jumble all the people in that are quote unquote pedo. Yeah, you can't you can't throw those people into the fat phobia bracket too. That's crazy. That's insane, dude. You're literally villainizing us to a different degree. Come on now. Each and every time. If you were a person who That woman is okay, look, I understand it. I get it. I understand her points. She just came off very, very wrong. It's men in the year of our life. Fat phobia does each and every time. Also that wig ain't it. If you were a person who dates men in the year of our Lord and Savior 2024, I need your help. What's the plan, y'all? What, what is the actual plan? Because we're only in February. And it's not looking good. Lose some weight, get in shape, eat better work on yourself i don't fucking know dude usually that like just doing simple things like that working on yourself i know a lot of people might think uh, uh oh men don't want to date selfish women sure but not in that aspect like obviously you want to date somebody that's a giver and hopefully you are going to give in return but you should be selfish in the aspect of yourself like you should understand that taking care of yourself is super beneficial especially if you're with somebody else because in the process of taking care of yourself that's taking care of the other person because now they don't have to worry about taking care of you, if that makes any sense. You're not seeding over responsibility for yourself onto somebody else. And that's super attractive to men and women together, okay? So, like, take care of yourself. Be more attractive that way. Being healthy is going to make you tenfold more attractive. So, I mean, that's a device I would tell to anybody. Be healthy equals be attractive. Has a girl who has struggled with her weight. It's slow. It's low. It's low. Her whole entire life. This is the most important thing I've learned. You are always going to be someone's dream body. I disagree with this. I think this is such a bad way of resonating or trying to understand your fat body. If you want to not lose weight and this is a way for you to sleep at night, it's, it's like have this imaginary idea that somebody somewhere at some point in time will find you attractive. You can do it. You can do it. It's not a good idea, though, because fundamentally what you're doing is you're gambling with your body. You're literally gambling that at some point in your life, hopefully, somebody will eventually choose you. Why the fuck are you putting in a lottery ticket when you can be opening up the funnel and getting hundreds and hundreds of more recep recipients when you could just lose weight and then have people be attracted to you that way? You understand? Like, I don't understand why it's such a... Like, isn't it better to have one or two options compared to hundreds of options? At least you can choose between the hundreds of options because if you only have like one or two options, odds are you probably won't even like that person. Listen to that and think about that for a second. I grew up overweight. I grew up dieting. I've lost weight. I've gained weight. Even whenever I lost weight, I was still aspiring to have a different body type. I never once during that process took a moment for myself to actually feel proud of myself. It's crazy because looking back now, because I have gained weight back, my dream body is me in the past. We as women never give ourselves enough credit for where we are. We just never take the time to really appreciate ourselves in the moment. There's always a better goal, a smaller pants size, a better number on the scale. Yeah, it's always good to admire where you're at. I agree. I also think that <sighs> you, you should be realistic at where you are and understand what you bring to the table because odds are if you're working under the false if you're working under a false idea that you're like a 10, you're not, it's not going to work out well for you. I think what has really helped me like work on my confidence in myself and who I am today in this very moment is just realizing that like, yeah, am I where I want to be? No, but cool. I am probably a goal weight for someone out there. I really Sure. You're a goal, man. I don't know, man. This is a bad way of looking at it, bro. I mean, sure. Like it's like, it's like when people hit me with the, um, <laughs> This is such a bad way of understanding shit. But I remember I was talking to somebody and they were like, David, like, you know, we're living in such a great time to be alive. Um, even though I'm like incredibly in debt or like it's 
but we're living in the 21st century, David. You know, we have all this technology. We have all this great stuff and all this other stuff. Like, it's true. But, like, you telling that to somebody that's actually going through mental problems is not going to help them. Like, if somebody came up to you and was like, dude, I am having some really big problems. My wife is divorcing me. I'm chronically in debt. I have student loans. I My house is being foreclosed. Like, what am I going to do? I, I, I don't know what to fucking do. And then you go... Well, think about it like this. You could have been born a thousand years ago and died when you were 22 because you ate spaghetti the wrong way. And that person's going to go, okay, yeah, thanks, bro. I'm going to like go into the fucking bathroom and never come back out because obviously like it, you're, you're dismissing them. You know what I'm talking about? It's a bad way of like understanding somebody's problem because sure, things are better. It's not going to help anybody though. You have to understand their predicament in the, in the, in the, where they are now and adjust based off of that. You can't just go, well, it would have been worse in another scenario. You don't think that person knows that? It doesn't have anything to do with the problem they have now, though, right? So I hate it when people do that shit. This is the same thing, too. Like, oh, even though your body sucks right now, guess what? Somebody out there wants that body. Okay. <laughs> oh, fucking K. What is that going to do for me? Nothing. That does fucking nothing for me. I'm still perpetually unhappy. I... I it's not, it's not a good way of, it's not a good way of understanding it. It's terrible. Don't fucking listen to this shit. Understand where you're at. Okay. Obviously, but you should only be comparing yourself to yourself and understanding that you can be better and you should be better. I believe in you. You have the ability to be better. You can be more responsible. You can be healthier. You can eat better. You can go to the gym more. I don't care what age you are. You can always be healthier. And I believe that you can do those things and it is possible for you. So good job. If you are doing those things too. I think the first time I went through a major weight loss, I was just young and naive. That's something that we like don't really even think about when going through weight loss is how different it can be at certain ages. You should probably lose weight as soon as you possibly can because as you get older, it becomes harder and harder and harder and harder to lose weight. And oftentimes I feel like people that are in this like idea of like, oh, it negatively affects me tremendously that I had to lose weight very, very young because I was very, very young and I was very malleable. And so it like really affected me. I agree with that probably. But the amount of people that I've met that are like losing weight very, very young, sure, it could have some negative consequences to them in the future future mentally speaking but dude look at the amount of like amazing stuff like the amount of I know this girl that weighed like 200 pounds and now she weighs like 130 and she is so happy like sure she probably suffered some mental trauma given that she has to go through the process of losing weight but like you're gonna go through mental problems regardless right you might as well benefit from the physical uh, aspect of like having the weight be lifted off your body and now she's so happy she's like I fit on these clothes I just look so much better I'm more confident I, I looked you know you look at the before and afters of this girl dude and it's like she looked like a brick before and then now it's like whoa right and um, don't get me wrong obviously not everybody can look like that right but that's not that's not a case to not lose weight like if you're beautiful and you think you're beautiful right now you can always accentuate that a little bit more or if you have like an ideal body and you'll never be able to get to that body it's okay because guess what you look good right now, and I know you can look better. Just emphasize what you have. Play with the cards you're dealt. It's okay that you don't look like Ronnie Coleman or, I don't know, Jessica Alba from like 2010 or something. I don't know, who, whoever's hot at the time. Um, I don't really look at women like that like celebrity women, it's very easy for me to point out a very attractive men in Hollywood. It's just like, because women already look pretty attractive in Hollywood, right? You know what I'm saying? Like default woman in Hollywood, hot. But like default man in Hollywood, anomaly. You know what I'm saying? Like you have to find really, really good looking guys that take steroids for like six months and gain 50 pounds and go like, wow, that guy looks great. But women already look good, if that makes any sense. And it probably has to do with men looking like ugly women most of the time. Anyway. I truly wish... I knew what I knew now then. So yeah, whether you're on a weight loss journey or starting a weight loss journey, just take a second for yourself and be like, okay, am I where I wanna be? No, but I have come this far. I True. think even like acknowledging the fact that you're like, I wanna go on like a little bit of a weight loss journey, that's a point that like that's a point to be proud of recently i truly think that i myself i did need to go through that weight loss journey and i did need to gain that weight back to really like learn these types of lessons so maybe that sounds kind of crazy it does but yeah i just wanted to come on here and say that today and i really think we all just need to be a little bit easier on ourselves i agree with this but like it's gotten jumbled around so heavily in like her weird blender of like mind melting ling lingo in the moment because one day you're gonna look back and you're gonna be like that was my dream body at that point and i wish i appreciated her a little bit more True. all right as always i love you guys so much love you too okay, love bye. you too love you too love you too um what's the way <sighs> i'm not gonna say anything dude i'm not gonna say anything dude but uh damn man that's uh, i don't know man like uh 
did you go to the doctor and be like, you know brats? This thing that a guy said to you that in his mind was a compliment. So with me being a plus size person my whole life, there are so many stories. I remember one time, dude. <laughs> I remember one time this girl had said something to me, dude. She was like, oh my God, you're like, you're not as bad as my ex-boyfriend. I was like, oh, oh, okay. Yeah, that's awesome. Thanks. ...to choose from, but this one actually happened about three years ago. So I was with this guy and he was laying his head on my butt like it was a pillow because people like doing that. I have a big butt and I get that. I think that if you're a bigger person and you have a big butt, that's a feature. You understand? It's not an anomaly. I have plenty, dude, I have plenty of guy friends. Man, dude, honestly speaking here, I'm gonna keep it a bucket you. I have plenty of guy friends that are literally in the twos or even the 300s. These dudes should be going to Victoria's Secret and getting bras, okay? These guys are literally sacking up. You know what I'm saying, dude? They got a lot of girth, more girth than most women. It's crazy, right? And it's not even appeasing shit too, you know? But I guess maybe it's like a, I suck your boobs and you suck my boobs type of thing. I don't know, dude, I get benefits, right? Guys too, uh, double cheeked up because they carrying around all that body fat percentage. If you're a big person and you're going, I have a big butt, I'm so amazing, I don't care. You should have a big butt if you're like 300 pounds. But anyways, he turns to me and he says, I love your body. It is just so soft and, and big and comfy. I just love it. And I'm not offended. I'm just like, oh, thank you. It is, it is all those things and it, it's nice. Yeah. But this guy proceeds to say, it's just, it's, it's. It's like you're a big couch. That's and I'm crazy. like, did this motherfucker just call me a couch? Yeah, that's pretty. When you, oh man, dude, when your boyfriend or somebody like that is going, you, you know what? I actually think that you might have a career if you just showed up at like a Tempur-Pedic store and just laid down on the floor. I think you could actually be sold. I think. You could be like a water mattress or something, like a sleep number bed or something like that. Like your body is so soft. It's actually cr You're the softest bed I've ever slept on in my life. I actually was just sleeping on you. I woke up. It was the best sleep I've ever had in my life. Like, and then I woke up and I was like, man, I just wish that I could just have this as my mattress. Um, do you ever think about just maybe wanting to do that for like, for me, I could probably, you know, like in the daytime, you could probably do stuff. But at night, like you think that maybe... Because you, you just have that, that great sleep number bed quality. That tempur quality. That's crazy. That's a crazy ass thing to say to somebody. You're a big couch. And I'm like... The crazy thing too is to say you're a big couch. Couches are already fucking big as shit. Couches are massive, okay? You can fit like three people on those comfortably. Big couch, you can fit like seven or eight. Like, did this motherfucker just call me a couch? Yeah. Okay, I have a plus size horror dating story, and if this has ever happened to you, please let me know, but let's go. Man, these lashes, dude. What's up with these girls having these long ass spider legs, man? Okay, so like a few years ago, I was on this dating app, and I met this guy, we hit it off, we started calling each other boo, calling, texting every day, you know Not a good thing, by the way, don't do that. Don't do that until you're like, I don't know, dude, three or four, five, three or four, five months in. Don't just like start talking to somebody and start calling them babe, boo, or whatever. Like, that's cringe. Tacos. But because we live long distance, this guy was just like, I think we'd be better off a friend. So I was like, okay, I'll go find somebody else. True. So I started talking to other guys and I think he got jealous. So he was like, you're the one. I'm so sorry. Like, I want to wine and dine you. I want to. Um that overline too is crazy, man. I know that. Whenever I see Overline, it's just like, it's always so obvious to me. Pay for your plane to come out here. I want to pay for your hotel. I want to pay for your food. So I was like, okay, put your money where your mouth is. And he did. So I'm like over here super excited going on this trip, thinking I'm about to fall in love, have a boyfriend. Like I was super excited. Kid you not, second day we go out and we're exploring. So I was like, hey, let's hold hands. Let's be cute and romantic. And he literally said, no. Damn. So of course me, I'm like, what the heck? He just Wait, how are you going to fly a girl out? across the fucking country pay for the, the hotel and everything how much are flights like literally like two three hundred bucks and then the hotel probably depending on how long you're staying got to be another two three four hundred bucks you you drop in literally a stack on this woman and you don't want to hold hands you're gay he's paid for me why does he want to hold my hand True. guys he later confessed it's because i was fat and he didn't want to be seen in public with me so why the fuck man dude maybe he just never video chatted this girl dude i don't know i don't know dude this doesn't seem realistic at all I think one of the hardest That's crazy. parts about dating as a bigger girl is feeling like you're never given a fair chance. Cue the gym bro saying, just lose weight. True. But last night I had this memory pop into my mind and I was thinking about it and I was like, wait a second. A couple of years ago, I was out at a bar with a couple of my friends and me and my one friend had met these guys and we were like kind of talking to them. And the one I was like, 
kind of talking to that night and I was like, oh, like he's like kind of cute. The second he laid eyes on like my other friend, he was like so much like more into her. Yeah. To the point where they literally dated, like True. had a full relationship. And for me, it's whatever. I would never want to be with a guy who was- I mean, obviously you're, it's not whatever. You're making a whole video about this. So you obviously feel some type of way. Like you can't just go like, oh, I don't really care. I mean, personally, but let me just dedicate an entire video to this particular scenario that happened. Dude, you obviously care. Come Ever on. In the By the way, that's got to suck too. Like you think this guy's interested in you and then he's like, yeah, I mean, you're pretty cool. <gasps> oh my God, who is that? Oh, that's just my friend. That's just my friend. Yeah, hold up. Um, You stay here for a minute or probably your whole life. I got to go talk to this girl real quick. I'll be right back. Probably uh, just go home actually. I don't even know why you're here. What was your name again? Um, Yeah, anyway, bring me my bill. Yeah, bring. you work here, right? You work here? Who's that girl again? Yeah, let me go talk to this girl. That's crazy, dude. I just more attracted to any of my friends though because they ended up dating I would see him a lot and one of the times I saw him we were talking just about the night that like we had all met and he was like oh yeah like I, I remember the first night like I think I was like talking to you for a little bit at first and like I don't think he meant it in like any certain type of way we what were... do you mean any certain type of way that doesn't even seem like it's a bad thing it seems like you guys are just having a conversation right I could be wrong here I guess I suppose I suppose for a little bit at first and like i don't think he meant it in like any certain type of way we were just literally talking about that night but in that moment it really made me think like i really feel like sometimes i just don't get a fair chance compared yeah, i just don't understand oftentimes how i see these people complaining like oh i'm with my friends and it seems like my friends always get more options than me and even to this extent where when i get an option those options don't like me anymore when they see my friends and then somehow you go i don't get a fair chance when all your friends are thinner than you and prettier than you. Dude, um, listen, okay? First impressions really matter. And not, I understand your personality is great and awesome and beautiful and all that stuff, but you don't have like a Wikipedia page where like if somebody walks up, they read the Wiki, like you know what I'm talking about? Like you just give them the page of Wikipedia, like, hey, guess what? This is like all my best character traits. Nobody's doing that. Most people are looking at people and they're going, okay, this person looks good. This person looks cool. I'm going to interact with them. Looks get you through the door. They may not like keep you, but they're most definitely getting you through the door. So given that information and given that your friends are all taking your options and they're all having more options than you, why don't you do what they're doing? Because it seems like that's working to my friends obviously you're not going to be everyone's type and that is totally okay yeah but it seems like you're nobody's type at this rate completely normal it's almost like him going from like engaging in conversation from me to instantly like turning his attention to my friend was solely based on attraction duh fucking duh you guys are at a fucking bar what do you guys what do you what do you think he was gonna fucking do what are you gonna do in a fucking book reading what do you mean like strictly based off attractions yeah that's the entire fucking point it can be tough because i'm so confident in who i am as a person and in my personality but these instances of guys always being more interested in my friends wanting to instantly flirt with my friends and not me has like made this like deep rooted like insecurity it almost just feels like no matter how good your personality is how much I don't care about your personality. Your personality means nothing, especially when we're talking about first impressions. You do understand that attraction is key, right? Like people need to find you attractive in order for this to work to a certain degree. Sure, you can like have, you know, I've met a lot of women that can probably give up a lot of the physical attraction for other attraction. Men don't usually do that, but you have to at least understand that that's, that's just not like practical. You can't just expect people to, I don't know, give up. Like if somebody looks better than you and they have the same qualities as you, why would you think you're going to have a better chance? Like how much of a, you know what I'm saying? Like, what are you talking about? What it, it's, it, it's a barren point. When you are, it doesn't matter it if doesn't, you're not it, the most attractive girl in the group. And I'm sure so many of us have felt this at one point or another. Nobody owes you that. Nobody owes you the responsibility of understanding your fucking backstory, Bruce Wayne. That's not how it fucking works. You're a grown woman. Understand that you are... Not unique, okay? Like, you're all in the dating pool. You have to understand that you're competing with everybody. So, understand that you have to compete, right? You understand? You understand? Okay, cool. Like, I don't care that you think you have a great personality. Everybody has a great personality. You're just fat. So, anyway. We're going to end the video here. Um, if you enjoyed today's video, I'd appreciate if everybody could leave a like, comment, subscribe, sharing the video. Uh, if you want to become a member, you can. If you don't want to, that's fine too. I want to say thank you to everybody that's a member. Thank you so much. You're all beautiful. If you are a subscriber, thank you so much for being a subscriber. You are also beautiful. If you watch the video in its entirety and or you're here right now, leave it down below by typing in 
concrete because concrete is a beautiful aspect of our society and I really love the ability for us to make wet things hard. Hold up, hold up. Not like that, but you know what I'm talking about. Concrete, beautiful. I walk on it every single day, as most people do. Um, if you are a beautiful person, let me know down in the comment section. I would love that context, by the way, uh, from earlier on that whole like, you know, fat girl thing, young age thing. I would love that context because I can't really relate. But uh, anyway, you're a beautiful person. I was watching you the other night through the window, and I couldn't believe how well lubricated your shoulders and armpits were. Um, I don't care if you're a man or a woman. This has nothing to do with that. I'm watching you strictly solely based off of the amazingness of your personality, the feng shui you present on a daily basis. To be honest, your whole entire house, wherever you live, it's emanating heat because you're so attractive. It's crazy. You are literally beautiful from head to toe and i can't stop gazing upon you that one day when you were walking down the street and you looked behind you and you saw something move behind the mailbox that was me thank god you didn't look because i wouldn't have been able to stay there for a prolonged period of time so i'm so glad you continued to walk and i was able to continue looking at you from from the uh the back anyway um, we're going to end the video here. If you want to follow me on social medias, you can. They're going to be all linked in the description in the about section to my channel. It's just my Instagram, Twitter, Discord, and second channel. If you want to join any of those things, feel free to do so. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys. 